The San Jose Barracuda is the Sharks minor league team freshly moved from Worcester, Massachusetts in the offseason. And a longtime coach, it was sort of a homecoming. There's been times this year or over the, my career where they probably should have fired me, but they didn't. It's been a 20-year relationship between the Sharks organization and Roy Sommer, who is about to become the winningest coach in the eight-decade history of the American Hockey League. You know, it's really one of those things, I guess it just kind of creeps up on you like old age. Get quick, quick, quick! Sommer boasts over 600 minor league wins on his coaching resume. The address on the header of that resume? Not Canada, not Minnesota. Try Oakland. This family up the uh, block started taking my older brother, then I started going to his practices and just kind of hanging out at Berkeley Iceland. A lot of stuff happened there. One time I drove my mom's car and it's the only one we had and I ran in to get my skate sharpened and I came back out and I left the keys <laughs> and I was going, I know it was parked there. Since then, Berkeley Iceland has come full circle. From dilapidation to gentrified sporting goods store, gone are the ice and the bleachers. What remains is Summer's impact on hockey and just a three-game career in the NHL. Can you give me your NHL stat line? It's not good. Not good, but certainly memorable. He had a goal and a fight in his first game along Wayne Gretzky with the Edmonton Oilers. But Summer was sent back to the minor leagues and stayed there. His first head coaching job was with the Roanoke Valley Rebels in 1991. And life in the team hotel was more dangerous than their time on the ice. All of a sudden I'm in my room. It's been a long day already. And someone runs in and they go, hey man, some of the guys just got robbed. I go, what? And they, the guys that came in and robbed them, they were playing cards and the door was open and there was money on the bed and they were, you know, so they came in and robbed them and then tied them up with the, the phone cords. Then the, the other thing is, you guys remember their motion. Today's stories from the road on. tend to be much tamer, unless Summer decides to watch his favorite movie, Lonesome Dove, on long bus rides. It's six hours long, man. A lot of guys do sleep through it, and then there's a lot of bitching from the back. We just had Matt Tennyson up, and we were going on a road trip to uh, Bakersfield, and I go, hey, you're back on the bus again. You're off the jet, and you're on the bus. He goes, you're not going to show that cowboy movie again, are you? If you asked him, Summer probably would switch places with Gus McRae. During the summer, he and his family live in a Montana cabin that just recently got electricity. And for years, he took players on a camping trip to a remote part of Maine, even during seasons when the weather was dicey. We had no leadership, man. Guys are all over the place. They start drinking beers early. No one had their camping spots. And I go, this isn't going to be good. We had no firewood. It starts getting dark around 4, you know, and all of a sudden it started raining a little bit. And then uh, it started raining a lot. And so I had my dog in the middle of this tent and we were all laying on top of the dog because she was warm and there was like that much water and it, it was miserable. Needless to say, the Sharks asked Summer to make the trip a little less rustic in the future. Weather happens, man. It was like, it wasn't like I tried to destroy him. It did definitely, uh, it got canned after that, but <laughs> it might have been worth looking at weather reports after that. How are you feeling? Goalie Alex Stalock is one of the many players to survive Summer's trips paving the way for a promotion to the NHL, a league Summer himself has very little experience in. Does he deserve a shot in the NHL? <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, it's funny, we always talk about it, you know, when there's a job opening, you know, it would, what's Roy's thoughts, but you know what, he's, he's such a good, you know, family guy too. Summer is father to three kids, one of them, 24-year-old Marley, who has Down syndrome. He kind of grounds everybody, does me. Life is good back in the Bay Area, even if the traffic has gotten worse. The Bay Area does not suit you then very much anymore. <laughs> nah, you know what? I don't like big crowds yeah. and I don't like traffic, but I love coaching hockey. So as long as I stay in my little community, I'm fine. The cool thing is if you can't afford a Sharks ticket, you can afford one to the They lost tonight, by the way, to the San Antonio Rampage. We're going to wrap it up game day.